Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be getting into the question of what is the gain on an amplifier? But first, all right, so let's get into this. Not too much depth to it, but as you see, we have a JP77 amplifier in front of us. This is going to be a multi-channel amplifier. So uh, if you had a subwoofer amplifier, it would just have one gain. But since this one is a seven channel, you have several gain uh, knobs, if you will, on here. One right here, one right here, one right here. So there's uh, several different gain knobs on here. So the, basically, a gain is just going to be you turning up. It's almost like you pushing the gas on your engine. You get in your vehicle when you uh, when it's not running, it's not putting out any power. Obviously, you start it, and it's almost like when you turn on an amplifier and the gain's all the way down. It's not going to put out that much power because it's almost like it's idling. Um, and you don't want to get too crazy with it because just like in uh, a vehicle, when you push the gas, the further you push it, the closer you can get to red line and um, you can blow up your engine if you push it too far for too long. So that's why people say don't get crazy with your gain because if you get too crazy with it, well, luckily our amplifiers, there's a, a clipping indicators. Um, so you'll know when the when the amplifier is clipping when it comes to the down for sound amplifiers but if you don't have that you don't know when you're pushing it too far so you'll want to turn up the amplifier a little bit obviously well optimally you would have something like a dd1 distortion detector so if you don't have i mean it, it helps even in conjunction with our clip indicators but if you don't have a clipping indicator on your amplifier you definitely want to get a smd dd1 distortion detector so you can help uh, set your amplifiers properly because if you go in there and you just turn up the gain a lot of people just turn up the gain all the way this is making it where the amplifier is putting out absolutely everything that it has all the time when obviously when you start turning up the uh, volume but it's going to put out everything that it has very soon on the volume and it also comes into adjusting your system to where it all comes up together I can't tell you how many uh, vehicles I've been in where a person will start turning their system up and their mids and highs will be maxed out and then they'll start pushing like the gain for the subwoofers to come up um, and everything will start coming up and the mids will start mids and highs will start distorting so bad the subs are barely playing like it's it's all bad but it's, it's just not equaled out it's, it's not playing in perfect symphony like it should be so you need to use the gain properly to where you're not pushing it to the max all the time. Usually if you have an amplifier that is more than adequate enough for, say, your subwoofers, you won't have to turn the gain up hardly any, especially if you're turning up your volume on your deck to get your, or your source to get your mids and highs up. Usually you don't have to turn the sub gain up or the uh, gain on your sub amp up hardly any because a lot of times you have a bass knob as well so you're able to adjust it there so that's what the gain is and is easy to explain terms if you want a super technical explanation you can probably head over to big d Wiz our old school stereo williston audio labs on uh, youtube he can tell you what it is and detail exactly what's going on inside the amplifier it's like a potentiometer like you're turning it up and it's going to make it put out more power but you want to respect it, that's for sure, because you can cause your amplifier to fail. You can cause your uh, speakers to fail prematurely if you get too crazy on it. So don't get too crazy on it. You don't have to. If you notice you've turned it up a decent amount and it's still not pushing your subs like you want to, then you probably don't have a big enough amplifier. You're trying to get too much out of something that's too small. So anyway, I hope this information has found you well. If you have any other questions regarding the core audio, ask them in the comment section below. If I see them, I'll try to answer them for you. Don't forget about the Downford Sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices, fastest shipping, best customer service. And we have a ton of different financing options on the website under the financing tab. And always, you can give us a call, 702-701-9800. We'll see you in the next one. Later.
What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.